hello it's Sarah and I'm gonna do a quick Pandora video guys I just finished this and I wanted to share it I also just cleaned it and it's super shiny so I wanted to do it while it was nice and clean um, I used just an old toothbrush this is a, a very soft bristle brush and I just take the bracelet to the sink I actually clip it hold it in my hand put a little bit of dish soap on the on there and just scrub I do both sides rinse it under warm like for you know just till it's all covered and then um, rinse it with warm water dry it in a paper towel just hold it in a paper towel and kind of let the water come off um, you can also use a cleaning cloth mine's filthy so I think I'm gonna probably get another one um, but polishing cloths, this is great for when it actually really starts to get like black tarnish on it. I'll take all the charms off the bracelet from time to time and really give the bracelet a rub, the snake chain. But um, they just turned out so sparkly because I've been wearing these really a lot. And um, they do pick up all the oils from your hands and, you know, soaps and different things, um, wear and tear like that life stuff. But... This is my Poetic Blooms bracelet. This was the first one I got. And this little um, palette dangle started the whole thing again. Uh, if, you've, if you've seen my previous videos, I had Pandora and it was all stolen from me. So I wasn't too sure, but this has been since Christmas. And I mean, so six months in and I'm pretty good. I think I'm going to slow down now. I have I love this one is like so this is my fave so I just want to share because I've um, played around with different beads I was kind of figuring out what I wanted to put on the poetic blooms I do tend toward fantasy and like floral and pinks those are my kind of go-to um, but I wanted this to represent me a little bit too really just my favorites that's what it comes down to so I'm gonna zoom in and I've written all the names down and hopefully um, we'll get a nice close-up shot so the, this is the 7.5 I think it's 19 centimeters um, my two-tone is the 7.1 inch which is 18 centimeters I could be wrong on the centimeter part but seven this is 7.5 the longer this was the first one I got and I thought I would need it longer but I actually fit really well into the 7.1 so um, here we go so this is like I said the poetic blooms bracelet um, at the end of the bracelets there's this little threading area so I like to put a bead that doesn't have threads in it so it can come right up against that and kind of hide that this is called the dragonfly meadow bead let me see if I can really zoom in because it's so gorge. I don't, oh, see if I go too close, it unfocuses. Uh, that looks good. That's going to be good. But it has a couple dragonflies. It has a, like a rose. Look at that. Um, flowers. It's very detailed and light. I like that it's light because a lot of the beads are very heavy and it can just make the bracelet heavy as well. The Poetic Blooms clasp has CZs and enameling and CZs all the way around it. It's a nice clasp. Um, my original bracelet was the barrel clasp. I just had the simple basic silver barrel clasp, but now I'm loving that they're changing up the clasps. I have the two-tone bracelet, which is a similar shape. It's like a button, um, but it has that. It's the Pandora emblem, and then it has the two-tone gold. So. I'm, I'm loving that they did that. There's a lot of things I don't love about the new the newer Pandora and I'm kind of like, I like the old school, but this bracelet has a lot of new stuff on it. All right, that being said, this is retired, this is old. This was on my original bracelet, the Peace Dangle. And I don't know, I mean, I think it's just called Peace Dangle. I, I kind of tried my best to find out the name. It just has pink CZs on the top part and then a little dangling solid silver um, peace sign but I I love peace serenity that's my thing I try to stay I'm trying to stay calm in my life and have very little drama so that was very important plus it's pink and I love it home sweet home gotta have home sweet home it says home sweet home on the bottom it's a little house it has a very cute door and windows and a heart 
Um, it's very detailed. I think there's a little heart on the roof. And the back, there's even like a little chicken on the top and some flowers on the bottom. But I had to have that one. Home is everything to me. So, very important. Um, this is called Geometric Facets. And it's opalescent pink opalescent. And it's so gorge. Like, I don't know, in real life, it's just beautiful. I happen to love like um, Aurora Borealis on CZ, so just so that you get that like different colors, um, but it's so gorgeous. And I'm kind of using that in place of a Murano. I love Muranos, but I didn't want to load this one up with Muranos because I wanted to have more room for other uh, beads. This is a retired spacer. It's called. I think it's just called the heart spacer. I don't know. I wrote down heart. Oh, no, no, no. It's called something else. I found out. This is called the pink space in my heart spacer. So it's called space in my heart spacer. And it's just, I got it on eBay. I've gotten lots of the, these beads on eBay and I get them for much cheaper than retail, which I mean, I don't know if that's good or not. It's not good for Pandora, I guess. But I think somebody paid retail. This was one of my very first beads. I'm pretty sure I got this right at Christmas. It has butterfly cutouts on the side. It's called Springtime. It has the enamel butterfly, the white um, enamel daisy, a dragonfly, and another like CZ daisy on both sides. I love it. And there's it ties in with other beads on the bracelet. So we have the dragonflies here and, you know, I don't know, and the enameling. So there's three or four different beads on here that tie in together. The next one is, just because I love it, I don't know why I've never been a stars girl necessarily, but I just like this, this spacer. It's called Twinkle Twinkle, and it's a clip. It's not a spacer. You put the clips over the little threading and it keeps your your charms kind of separated so if you didn't have a full bracelet like this one's not full the beads stay in the little section sorry about that I know I'm zoomed in but that way you can keep your bracelet kind of from all hanging at the bottom um, anywho that one's called twinkle twinkle now this one is one of my newer ones and I had to go for it this is a new bead I want to say this is still available it may have just retired but I think it's still available it's called the dazzling daisy meadow and it has the sparkling daisies that kind of tie in with my poetic blooms clasp so it's just a pink CZ it's a really thick bead it has hearts carved into the top of it so similar again to this to the springtime with this so this is kind of the newer style of bead that Pandora is doing I think and I really do like it I have to say but it's just so different from the old style just silver solid silver charms and I don't even know if they're making two-tone charms that much anymore but um, they're very different from the two-tone charms um, all right so this is the dangle let's see this is called the pa artist palette and it's a dangle and this is what started me back to it I happened to come across this at the time I collected they didn't have a palette and I'm an I'm a painter so I had to get it I started with that and just thought all right I'm gonna get it and this is what it's turned into now so um, but it's gorgeous it has little CZs and all for the colors on the palette and a little brush that dangles and just like a big bow up here so cute so I had to have that one um, this one is new. I just got this one on Memorial Day. It came out just this month, and the store I went to happened to have it. It's called Drink to Go, so it's brand new. You can get this at the Pandora stores now. It's just your coffee cup, your to-go cup. On the back it says Pandora with the little heart and the symbol, and on the front it says, I think it says, I'm going to get my take a break. It's very hard to see, but at the bottom of that, it says, take a break. And I'm all about coffee. I actually, I'm drinking coffee right now. Um, or tea, just your to-go beverage of choice. And it has a pink heart, so it totally matched, and I love it. It's what, like, finished this bracelet. Um, this one was one of, again, one of the very first beads I got. It's called... 
Dazzling Daisy Fairy. So it's again playing into that theme. It doesn't have a dragonfly, but it has butterflies and daisies and a fairy. Can you see her sitting there? Sitting right there. She has wings with CZs and the little um, enamel butterflies. So cute. And it's an open work, so another light one. I love. This is retired. This is a re my only Murano one here. It's called the Cherry Blossom Murano. And it's just real simple and sweet. It has the white because I have that white enamel playing out, playing throughout this one. Um, and it just has little pink flowers on there. Um, this clip is called Sparkling Leaves Clip. And I just liked it. I happen to like these round clips, although there's one that's called, um, uh, I want to say Cherry Blossom again, but I don't think it is. It's just a smaller flower clip. So if anything at all changed on here, I would imagine it would be the clips. Like I would probably put more of a pink floral themed, but not necessarily. Like I said, I just like that they're round. I don't generally repeat charms either, so they would definitely be different. I have two of these, but I just did. I just love my star one, and I didn't want them to not be on here, so I put them on here. I'm sorry if I'm coming out of the shot, because um, I'm looking at the bracelet. This one's called Darling Daisy Spacer, so just a spacer with all white daisies, white enamel daisies going around. Um, this one is called Pink Radiant Droplet. This was a, like so out of my wheelhouse. I don't know why I said that. I never say that. But um, just not something I would tend to go for. But I thought I definitely, I love bling and I love sparkle. So why not? And when I got it, I was just like, OMG. Like these are gorgeous, you guys. Like they come in all different colors, clear. I think I've seen display bracelets like at the store with these on it. Like maybe there'll be three of them and it's just a CZ bracelet. So pretty. Um, so they really, I don't know, I just had to have that one. Uh, this is an ice cream cone. I didn't know they had an ice cream cone, and I just loved it. Um, it's a dangle, but it has those, and I thought of my little bird. So this is called ice cream cone dangle, and this is just the red robin. It has a red heart of red CZs. Well, they're kind of like really fuchsia, but it's the same color as the ice cream cone on top and then there's white CZs on the like bottom of the ice cream part and then look at the cone it's just so cute and I love ice cream who doesn't it's just super cute so it just kind of makes it a little more um, cutesy too and then my bird because I actually just got another bird Joe and I went and got another budgie last night we got a boy budgie he's so cute his name is little man and maybe I'll share him too. We got a bigger cage because Sonny was lonely. I think Sonny was sad. I had one budgie given to me. Um, and, you know, she had toys and she had a bunch of stuff, but she just didn't seem really happy. And so I wanted to get her a buddy, so I did. And they are happy. They are very happy. Um, and then last, this is the last one I got. And I was kind of like, huh, I don't know. It's a clear CZ. This is called, um, oh dang, I didn't write, why, what, I didn't write this one down, because this is called the Explosion of Love Clip, this finished it off, I'm going to look this up real quick for you, because I did just, I ordered it from eBay, so it's going to be right here on my eBay account, it is called Enchanted Nature. So, and that is brand new, actually. It's, it's like probably in the catalog. I'm going to zoom up. But this is called the Explosions of Love Clip. So this is a clip. And if you don't have a clip at the end of your bracelet, I think there might be, um, no, it's just tight. I, I think there is silicone in here. I'm not sure. But these type of um, charms will just slide off your bracelet. So you really need um, either put, like this little bird was on the end before. You have to put, Actually, let me, I'm going to move him too. I'm going to put this first, then my bird. Just, I don't know why. I don't know. Maybe I don't want to do that. Sorry. Um, <laughs> I, 
I think I like the way it is right now, so I'm not going to mess with it. Um, if, so anyway, so that's why I did get this clip, just because sometimes they, they wind down, and this is just all hearts. It's a silver clip with pink CZ hearts on it, and I got that the same time I got um, my coffee cup because I just wanted to finish it off. But I ordered this from eBay. I want to show it to you. I really wish I could get in closer because there's a dragonfly and a ladybug right there. And actually, there's a heart on top of the ladybug. And then if you look at the side, the cutouts, there's a dragonfly, there's flowers, and there's no ladybug, but there's flowers and a dragonfly. And I've looked at this with my, I have this, um, I'll zoom up. Oops, sorry, that wasn't up. I have this, like, um, magnifying glass. I don't know if you guys can see, if you can see it. But when I get them, because when you look at the pictures online, so, yeah, there's a dragonfly, and it has little, oh, my gosh, but yeah, the ladybug has spots, and there's a tiny heart on top of it. Like, they're so detailed. And this one's just all different flowers. Like, there's daisies and dogwood-like looking shaped flowers and a, and a dragonfly. And hearts. OMG. So, love, love, love. Now, look how shiny it is. Um, I already shared my two-tone, and it's going to change because... I feel like I think I'm gonna shop for some more retired two-tone beads some of the more old-school a lot more of these are retired there's definitely new ones like these two are new the family and the heart dangle are new and that's pretty much it most of these and this one this is like the same it's a heart shaped clasp looking one but most of these are um, retired pretty much yeah um, so anyway guys that's it I just wanted to share while it was nice and clean and pretty and I'm gonna put it on and I'm gonna come back and do a an ATC all right guys thanks for watching